Hi, David is here from Karma. Today I'd like to tell you about our new feature called Departments. Departments is a very handy feature that you can use if you'd like to run a few instances of a few um, Karma programs within your largest Slack. Let's say if you have a few offices in different cities, different countries, and each one of them would like to have their own Karma program with their rewards, with values, and they're not really connected to one another. And very important, they'd like to have a separate billing. So departments then a perfect use case or a perfect fit for your company. At the same time, the second really, um, really great use case is if you have a small subset of users within your largest Slack who'd like to run Karma and use all of the pro features while the rest of your company will enjoy our free account. In that case, departments is a perfect fit for you as well. And uh, let me show you that feature. So let me show you how departments work. So the thing to remember is a couple of things you need to remember about departments. Is first that a single user can exist in, in a single department only. So if you have different users that uh, have to reside within different departments, then you might as well use our Teams functionality, which is right there, or Groups functionality, which is right there. With Groups, you'd be able to add groups of users within a single department, and you don't have to create two departments at the same time. The second thing to remember is you cannot really give Karma between department to department. So the whole karma will be contained within a single department. But let's say that you're all happy with the conditions that our functionality provides and all the limitations are well aware to you. So if you're in a bigger team, you probably will straight away see these departments in your menu. So you can navigate to that. If your team is more than 200 employees, if you have less than 200, then just make sure that you reach out to us and request departments to be turned on for your Slack instance. But let's say that you have enough people and departments are turned on, so you go to departments and creation of department is very, very simple. So all you have to do is just click create a department, give a department name, find people. You can add groups or you can add even channels to a department. So I'll, I'll show you how. So I'll add the whole channel to this particular department and then you create a department. So nice and easy. And right now, you could always see your active department. It always with the with the orange board around it. And if you'd like to change to another department, all you'll have to do is just to click switch. And that's how you switch from department to department. If every single one will have a wrong billing, it'll have its own values, it'll have everything separately. So if you would like to remove a department, it's nice and easy as well. So all you have to do is just to click delete and all the users that have been contained with that department will automatically go to your main directory. Your main directory is always at the top. You cannot remove that. It's like a super department and all your users that are not within the departments are not assigned to a single department. They always be in your global or the, uh, the top directory. Let's have a look at the roles. So let's go into roles. So there are different, some different roles that do exist when you have departments. Let's have a click edit here. So you have owners and owners would be able to manage departments. They'd be able to add and remove the department. Admin is an administrator within a single department. So they'd be able to add moderators, give or remove the billing access and things like that, but contained within a single department only and users, just users, you know, the basic users of your karma. You also have a markers. So it's called accept karma. If you'd like to have some contractors to be within your department, but you don't want them to participate in your karma program, you can always remove accept karma and they wouldn't be able to receive or give karma. And at the same time you have moderator and billing access. So those, those things you can turn on for a, for a specific user. So let's make that user and administrator. So this is nice and easy. You can add as many departments as you like and you can manage, your admins can manage those departments. Every single department will have its own individual subscription. So you, as you can see in this particular example, Karma tests are in 30 days trial and Karma demo is your global as a pro account. But if you'd like to keep your Karma as free, so you can have some of your departments on a paid subscriptions, but some of the departments are utilizing our limited free account which would not give you any extra stuff like rewards, reports, and your karma history will be limited for a week or for one week, but you can still, still use our product. I think that's all that I have to say about departments. Make sure you reach out to us if you have any questions, subscribe to our channel, and check the other videos if you'd like to know a bit more info about our product. Good luck.